Hello and welcome to this tutorial about Apple II programming. The language used here is BASIC. BASIC is an acronym for Beginners All Purpose Symbolic Instruction Code. Uh, the Apple II was originally introduced in 1977. Um, now I'll start off, start off with something very simple. Um, run and it says hello world. Um, now the first thing there is a line number 10 so they're usually in increments of uh, of 10 so the next one would be 20 then 30. Print is the keyword and the statement altogether is a print statement. The quotation marks are the delimiters and hello world are the words to be put onto the screen. So cattle log um, it's not in the it's not on the disk yet, so what we'll do is we'll save it um, as H world and now when I type in catalog uh, it'll appear at the end of the list there. Okay, the next program we're gonna be looking at is uh S square. which is a number squarer now list. Um, the first thing there is an input statement uh, which requests a number for the user to square. Um, X is a variable. Now just think of a variable as being a name that has within it a piece of information or the name represents the information. So X is the name and, and it holds on to a number. Um, at line 20 there's x times x, so let's run it and type in uh, 64. Uh, the, the square of 64 is 4096, run it again just to show that it's variable. 8 is uh, 64, so Okay, the next program here um, is tri-text, which is short for triangle text. Uh, in the first line it requests the uh, user string. Now, any variable with a dollar sign at the end is a string. At line 20, there's a for, the beginning of a for loop. So, um, it'll go through the numbers, uh, you know, however long the string is, it'll um, repeat the loop for that you know, the, the amount of letters that are in the string and then um, it goes from the left to the uh, it gets the leftmost uh, letter and then adds one letter to form a triangle so let's uh, run it so there's um, hello YouTube, we'll run it again And uh, monkey magic was here. Bit of a silly thing to say. Um, all right, the next program we'll look at is running average. Uh, load. Okay, at line five, there's the home keyword, which is. Uh, a bit like CLS in uh, you know later versions of BASIC. Uh, then at line 10 the user number is set to 0. At line 20 the name is printed onto the screen. At line 30 uh, the, the loop of the program starts and it asks for numbers uh, which uh, are calculated into an average. Um, at line 40 CN which is short for count has one added to it at line 50 the total equals the total plus the user number uh, and the, the total is like you know a combination of all their numbers basically um, at line 60 uh, it prints the total divided by the count so it divides all of their numbers by how many numbers there were and puts it on the screen and if 
user number was uh, greater than or equal to zero, then go to 30, so it just loops. So run. Two thousand and twelve this year, and the average is two thousand and six point uh, you know and one third so minus one to stop run uh ten twenty should be fifteen zero back to ten and zero seven point five minus one to quit. Unit converter. Okay, this unit converter converts from Fahrenheit to Celsius and Celsius to Fahrenheit using um, textbook formulas. Um, so at the top there's home, then the name, then the main input, uh, and then it inputs uh, the unit which they want to convert. And then, and then X and Y are converted to Fahrenheit and Celsius. I'm not sure in which order, but um, if they're uh, if they chose it F for Fahrenheit, then it prints Celsius onto the screen, and Celsius to Fahrenheit. So let's run it. Uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius, 72 is 22.222 run it again Celsius uh, 22.2222 is uh, almost 72 so it appears to be working Okay, uh, the last program here is um, cal Calculator. Uh, load. This is longer than the other programs, um, which is why I saved it until last. Uh, so, list uh, 10 to 70. Uh, okay, at the top there, um, is uh, the name gets printed onto the screen. They input uh, the first number, which is an operand, and then they enter the operator. Uh, and um, depending on whether the the length of their operator was um, less than two, um, it uh, it requests a second number because some of those operators only need one number uh, like the, the square, the cos, sine, tan yeah. so uh, I'll list the rest of it here um, so if their operator is plus it puts on the screen using the print keyword the, the first number plus the second number and uh, that's how the arithmetic works there. Now with the uh, trigonometry, it's uh, radians uh, of their imp of n number one is uh, figured out there in line 110. Um, but in line 120, it's it still uses number one instead of the radians because it's a uh, square uh, square root. And in line 130, um, there it figures out cos using um, an equation there uh, which involves sine and then with uh, line 140 sine is figured out and the same thing with tan there so um, let's run it 4 plus four is eight run it again uh, 8 times 8 Ugh, oh, I made a mistake 8 times 8 is 64 now run it again uh, 64 
square root is 8. Um, run it again. Uh, 45 degrees cos is that. 45 degrees sine should be the same thing. And there it is. It's a couple of, you know, it's a fraction off, but that's okay. Alright, well, uh, thank you for watching.